think that this is a blueprint in whatever way you might think about the way this is going to go in the future. It might be slightly different, but this is a prototype for clearly where the industry is going to be going. I, I found the, the hybrid working um, really positive and I didn't know that it would be. Access to subscribe content, to paywall content, increased 44% from 2018 to 2020. So what I'd like to do in this presentation is to highlight some of the key findings of a report which we recently published. One of the challenges um, that I face as an editorial board member sometimes is finding appropriate peer reviewers. We are talking about, about inclusive, inclusivity and diversity and global access, for example. You know, we need people from South Africa, from Nepal, from Bangladesh, you have people from all around the world who wouldn't be able to attend these kind of conferences in person. Do you as a panel have any thoughts on how to ensure perpetual access and security of your data in the long term? I think the problem with funder mandates, to a large extent they exist and more and more are coming into being, but they are unfunded mandates. I really enjoyed the workshops. I think being able to have that kind of discussion about a topic so in-depth was really, really beneficial. The opportunity to network is something that I had been terrified of, but everyone has been so friendly. It always has an interesting mix of people from across scholarly communication. So it's so you have researchers and librarians and publishers. Um, you get lots of different perspectives that you don't at normal conferences and that scholarly publishers attend. I thought it was really terrific. We had an opportunity to connect with people who weren't necessarily able to be here in person. We had a really nice mix in different sessions of folks who were online and folks who were in the room. And even the graphics of zooming in and out of the person on stage to the folks coming in virtually was, was really excellent.